to the channel everybody. Today I wanted to go over an overview of our Generac um, standby generator. This is the 22 kilowatt model and I want to go into the installation, um, how it works, how fast it responds when there's an outage and um, later in the video we'll go over pricing on what we spent and what was included. So like I said this is the 22 kilowatt model. Um, this is the size we pretty much needed for our house. At the time when we were looking at purchasing, um, this was the biggest air-cooled that was available that was on the market. Um, our house is uh, roughly 2,700 square feet, and we have two three-ton ACs on the house, and we have uh, one three-ton AC on the detached garage. And this generator does the whole house, no issues, and nothing changes for us when the power goes out. So looking in here, you have your control panel. Um, from here, you can set your exercise times. Uh, the generator does start and run for five minutes, um, one day out of the week. This is where you would you check your oil, add your oil. Down there is the filter. And then there's the drain tube where you can drain it. This is a twin cylinder, 999cc uh, engine. And then, of course, there's the generator part. So that's the engine, that's the generator. And in here's your air filter. So all of our electrical comes in from uh, behind the garage and it's all underground. And then it comes in from the, or comes out, I'm sorry, from the generator uh, underground and just runs, runs up. Inside this Generac panel is pretty much the, the brains of the operation. This is where your transfer switch is located. So you can see all the electrical for the transfer switch. Um, so basically, as soon as the system detects an outage, um, this right here is what will, it signals the generator start, and this is what will disconnect your city power to your generator power, and vice versa. When city power comes back on, this is a smart system, so it kills the generator um, when city power comes back on. Um, it'll still run for about five minutes for a cool down period. So we did have to have our gas meter upgraded for the system. Um, this is what the upgraded meter looks like. Um, honestly, I don't know a whole lot of difference. It may be just a hair bit bigger. And then they added in uh, one regulator here and another new regulator here. And then the install team for Generator Supercenter, which is who we used, they took care of the, the hard piping here and then it goes underground to a flex. And that flex runs all the way over to the generator. So as you can see, it comes right up here, stubs up here, and then just goes into the back of the generator. Um, we painted it, the flex and everything, the same color as the house to kind of blend in. And then of course I have a, a fire hydrant that's just decorative purposes uh, that kind of hides that. Uh, the generator, you can get this separate. This is a, a pad, like a concrete pad to sit on. Underneath this pad, I have eight by eight uh, concrete blocks that I put down after I leveled the ground out. And it uh, stays level, doesn't move. Um, if I had to do it again, I probably would have poured a slab. But um, this is built up quite a bit, so we don't have to worry about, it would have to have eight inches of water here in the backyard before we'd have to really worry about anything. So this uh, box with the antenna on it is our gen monitor setup. Um, it, it's Wi-Fi controlled. It lets us know um, when there's an outage, if the generator is running, if it's not running, if there's an issue. It tells you a lot, a lot of information about it. Um, the system or the, the service is about $400 a year, but it includes um, an annual maintenance, which includes spark plug, oil changes, air filter. And this engine being a twin cylinder has two spark plugs. So they come out um, one day out of the year. You don't have to be home. Uh, they send you proof they did everything through uh, a, an email with pictures and everything of them, you know, removing the old spark plug, removing the oil, uh, changing out the filter. Uh, the green light you see on here, that tells you everything's good to go. Um, it flashes when it's running. And then if there's an issue, it'll be red. Um, the only thing we've had to do to this uh, unit was replace the battery already. Uh, we purchased this unit and had it installed in the fall of 2018. The original battery lasted uh, 16 months. It was an 18 month battery. 
Um, so we changed it out. The battery is in here. It's easy to get to. Just these two bolts. This whole side panel comes off and the battery's right down here. So one of the questions I get a lot is how fast it, it reacts or how, how long does it take for it to transfer power. So what I've done is I've just plugged in a light to the garage. There's the light right there on top of that. So I'm gonna kill the power to the house, which I can kill it right here through the main. So this kills the city power. And then you'll see, it's gonna be loud, but you'll see how fast this thing starts up and the light comes back on. to consider when you're having this unit installed is placement um, for us unfortunately the exhaust comes out of this side right here by the fire hydrant so it kind of directs the exhaust towards our house um, luckily from our bedroom with a fan on we can't even hear it so it's nice and also it keeps maybe some of the noise away from you know bothering the neighbors um, we got it far away from the house as we could also to think about where your electrical comes in where your gas comes in because you're going to end up having to pay a little extra for uh, a run, like how much they're going to have to trench. So we'll go over the cost in a second, but our gas run was uh, from from the generator to uh, over there where the gas meter is was about 55 feet. So here's here's my invoice we'll go over. Um, like I said, ours is a 22 kilowatt. Um, running on natural gas, you actually get 21 kilowatts. Uh, propane is more efficient, therefore they're rated for propane. Um, at the time of our purchase, 22 kilowatt was the largest we could get here. Um, I just looked at Generac's website and they're offering a 24 kilowatt now. Um, like I said, our house is 2,700 square feet. Um, we did a load test when the unit was first installed and we turned on everything you could think of. We turned on all the air conditioners, garage air conditioner, both house air conditioners, uh, ovens, everything, washer and dryer. We've turned on everything and we don't have a, a change in our life. Everything remains on, everything remains working. So on the invoice, you see we have a 55 foot gas run at $525. We have one uh, city permit, $500. Uh, we paid in cash, so we got a cash discount for $550. We were during the off season, which is, I guess, fall. We got a $750 uh, off season discount. And for some reason, we got another $500 discount from the manager. Um, it includes also included a, um, whole, a whole home surge protector. So looking at the cost here, the generator and the transfer switch is $48.99. The install was $39.25. Surge protector was included, city permit, gas run. We opted for the 10-year uh, Generac extended warranty for $695. I thought that was a bargain for what it, you know, it, it, this is an expensive thing. You want it, you know, protected. So our out-the-door price was, was $10,940. As far as the installation goes, our installation took roughly about three days from the time they showed up, got everything unloaded, dug the trench for the gas line, got everything hooked up, we had to wait on permits to come in for final connections uh, for gas and the electrical. So they had to do a pressure test on the gas and such. So it was a three day process between them setting it up and then the inspectors coming out. And then um, Generator Supercenter sends a representative out again just to go over the, um, the workings, how it works, everything else. 
So we ended up getting three different quotes. We got one from Generator Supercenter, which is who we used. We got um, two other quotes from like a kind of a smaller uh, mom and pop style uh, company. Um, one of them used Kohler, which I wasn't too familiar with. And um, my dad has a Generac system at his house, so I was familiar with that. So I really wanted to stick with Generac. The other company did use Generac, but they were about $4,000 more. And they couldn't really tell me what they were providing, you know, um, extra for that $4,000. So we went with the, the cheapest one. We haven't really needed it for storms, really. Um, there's been a couple times, maybe once or twice a year, where the powers went out for like an hour, if that. But this last big freeze we had here in Texas, um, we ran off generator power for 35 hours. So it was a blessing to have. Um, I feel that at that point, I finally had got my money's worth, maybe kind of out of it. Um, we Our pipes didn't freeze up. We were able to keep the heat on. It really, really worked out. The Gen Monitor system, I do recommend it. It's nice when you're at work to know if you lose power, your generator's running. Um, I can turn it on and turn it off remotely. I'm not sure exactly why you'd want to do that, but I have the option to on the app. It keeps track of your hours and any fault codes that may pop up, like if your battery gets low or stuff like that. And there you have it. I think I covered everything that I, I wanted to. I wanted to make this video, you know, short enough, but still include a lot of information that I could not find on YouTube when I was searching and looking for information on a system like this. So cost, you're right at $11,000, 22 kilowatt. Square footage, 2,700, runs everything. We don't run the garage AC, obviously, but, for a load test we did. Our uh, oven is electric, um, so that, that takes up quite a bit to power that. We ran oven, microwave, I mean, like I said, every, anything you can think of, every light in the house on, and doesn't skip a beat, works perfectly. So for our peace of mind, for me, my family, I would strongly recommend if you're looking at it, the Generac is probably the way to go. Um, as far as companies go, you know, get your quote, look around, you know, and pick out what's best for you. If there's any questions I can answer, please drop it in the comments. Uh, I will get back. Um, and like always, subscribe, like, share, ring the notification bell. We'll see you next time.